You know, you get all freaked out and you start waving the, I have my rights. I'm an American. I don't care what you are. And I'm a New World Order soldier. Okay? And you are under martial law. You have no rights. The Constitution, what the hell is that? Is that toilet paper? You know, I did take a crap this morning, and I wiped my ass. It, it was The paper was kind of brown. It did have some writing on it. Hmm. Freedom of what? Freedom of speech. Oh, no. That went down the toilet with my crap. I mean, you were on the Internet years back, right? Didn't you see the signs? All right? Why do you think the United States borders were so fluid, both the Canadian and the Mexican border. Because your government, the big free government, freedom government, freedom fighters, was assembling a new world order army. And how were they going to do that? Were they going to uh, recruit people like you? Or, or maybe your brother over there? Or your son? No. They were going to recruit outsiders, people that give a crap about their family, people that give a crap about this country because they're not an American. I mean, I'm not saying that all those people did that. Of course not. Only a very select few. But how are you going to get that select few to do anything unless it's porous? I mean... Come on, dude. I know you're not stupid, all right? I know that you're not dumb. Don't you remember reading all those blogs and seeing all those blogs and seeing all the comments and on the message, message boards back in early 2007 about how there would not be a 2008 election? It would be postponed because of a, uh, let's say, an, um, a national emergency? Don't you remember seeing that? And for the most part, the president would become king of the United States. Don't you remember seeing that? Dude, wake up. But it's too late now. See, the beauty of it, the beauty of it all is that I can shoot you dead in the street. If you decide to walk across the street to get a drink of water out of that mud puddle, I'm a soldier. I can take your life without any responsibility, without any repercussions at all. Why? Because I'm a New World Order soldier. You're just a pawn. You're nobody. You're trash as far as I'm concerned. And why am I telling you this? It's kind of like a movie. You know? The bad guy tells the good guy how it all occurred. Because somehow, some way, I get some kind of gratification by telling you this. Because you're so stupid that you didn't see the signs and you didn't take action. All right? Don't you know that the President of the United States signed a bill in May of 2007 that stated if there was a national emergency, okay? then basically he could maintain his presidency indefinitely. He could. And nobody could touch him. Nobody. Look it up! Look it up! It's some clause that's right in there with that Patriot Act. Mm -hmm. Patriot Act. What a scam that was, huh? That, that's the biggest scam going, isn't it? See, that was the beginning of the end right there. But you're so stupid that you didn't see it. And now look at you. You and your family are starving to death. You're, you're walking across the street to get a little bit of water out of a mud puddle. You're not driving around your BMWs. You're not driving around, okay, going up to the mountains and going to Vegas and going to the Bahamas and Hawaii and, you know, getting laid and doing drugs and drinking. All. That's just gone, buddy. You are a slave to the New World Order.
How does it feel? How does it feel? Tell me how does it feel. Whisper to me. How does it feel being a slave? And you know what? You know what the funniest thing about the whole nine yards is? Everybody thinks, oh, it's a secret service. and Oh, no, it's a CIA. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's the FBI that did all that. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's the banking system. The banking system, baby. That's who rules the world. The man with the most money wins. You know that. I, I got to get back to marching. I got a lot of neighborhoods to, to scout out and take some people down. The people that are, are not going to submit. But um, if you happen to live until you go to bed, think to yourself, why am I not free? Why? because you didn't do a goddamn thing about it when you had the chance.